From the strange and unexplained to the things that go bump in the night, this program has been created to help you survive against the very real threats in this world. These are the Creature Files. <coughs> creature File number 07, The Bunyip. When it comes to the creatures of Australia, none are as strange or as mysterious as the Bunyip. The Bunyip is a large, mainly aquatic animal that has been talked about in Australia for thousands of years, with its origins being traced to the southeastern indigenous groups that call Australia home. The Bunyip is a massive animal that is typically described in two ways. Some describe it as a serpent-like creature, and others describe it as a hulking beast that walks on all fours, but the reality, of course, is somewhere in the middle. The bunyip is a large four-legged animal with a heavy build. It has a large head that some have described as being like an English bulldog. It also has huge teeth, and it's covered in a thick draping of hair and feathers, but more so, it's often covered in the reeds and underwater plants that also grow in the lakes, rivers, and creeks that the bunyip calls home. The beast also has scales that run along its body as well as a long tail that often gets mistaken as the head of a serpent. The bunyip is thought to be a water spirit by indigenous groups and is respected as such by the local peoples. It was often used as a warning to children and to adults to be careful around water and the dangers that lurk below. Because of this, the bunyip is often depicted as a violent creature attacking anyone who enters its territory. However, we've discovered that this isn't the case. Uh, that being said, when there are eggs or offspring nearby, they can be incredibly territorial. Bunyips don't actually make nests of their own and have been known to lay their eggs inside of platypus burrows, maintaining their territory as a way to ensure the survival of the next generation. Bunyips are considered to be low on the danger scale for human beings, even if the legends say otherwise. The largest danger seems to come when someone tries to kill a bunyip, as they will soon be infected by a mysterious disease that we have been unable to cure. This concludes Creature File number 07, The Bunyip. Tune in throughout the week and the rest of this month for more survival tips and creature portfolios. And as always, Stay safe out there.